In this video, you will learn 11 plus nonverbal reasoning type 8, Nets and Cubes part 5. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we're going to see which one of these cubes can be made from the net. So this is a nets to cubes example. I've got another video on cubes to nets, so go check that video out. For this example, we're going to use pod to help us. P O D. B stands for pointing direction, O stands for opposite sides, and D stands for different shapes. Let's start with pointing directions first, and if you notice the net we have right here, you could see that we have an arrow, and this arrow is pointing towards this pentagon. So if you find an option in which the arrow is not pointing towards the pentagon and it's pointing somewhere else, then we cross it off. So in A, we have no arrow, so let's leave A. In B, we have no arrow once again, so let's leave B. In C, we do have an arrow, and this arrow is pointing towards this pentagon, so that's fine. Let's move to D. In D, it has no arrow, so leave D. In E, we do have an arrow, but this arrow is pointing towards this stripe and not towards the pentagon. Because it's pointing at the wrong shape, let's cross off E. Now, you may think that we're done with pointing direction, but you could see that we have a stripe here. And this stripe is vertical towards this pentagon. Because the stripe is vertical towards this pentagon, if we find an option in which the stripe is not vertical towards the pentagon, then we cross it off. In A, the stripe is horizontal towards the pentagon, which is not right, so we can cross off A. In B, the stripe is vertical towards the pentagon, so B is fine. In C, the stripe is once again vertical towards the pentagon, so C is also fine. In D, the stripe is vertical towards the pentagon, so D is also fine. Now, out of the five options we started with, we managed to cross off two, we managed to cross off A and E, and we're left with B, C, and D. We can put a tick next to pointing direction, and now let's move to opposite sides. In terms of opposite sides, if you have a look at the net we have right here, we have a smaller net over here, which shows the opposite sides for this particular type of net. So the opposite sides are the same color sides. So for example, we have two red sides. So the two red sides, they're opposite. The two blue sides, they're also opposite. And the two green sides, they're also opposite. What this means is that the same color represents the opposite sides. So if you do find two shapes in two of the same color, and they're right next to each other in one of the options, then we cross them off. Because according to the opposite sides rule, opposite sides can never be next to each other. So if you do find two shapes that are on opposite sides next to each other in one of the options, we can cross them off. Now, let's use opposite sides for B. The shapes we have in B are a square, a pentagon, and a stripe. Now let's see where these shapes are in terms of the net. So the stripes over here, and then we have the square and the pentagon. Let's see where these shapes are in terms of opposite sides. So the square is right here, and then we have the stripe, and finally we have the pentagon. So as you guys could see, all three of these shapes are on different colors, which means none of them are on opposite sides. So therefore we can keep B, and let's move to C. In C, we have three shapes once again. We have an arrow, we have a pentagon, and we have a stripe. So once again, let's have a look at the net. So the stripes over here, and then we have the pentagon, and then we have the arrow. Let's have a look in the opposite sides. The stripes at the top, and then we have the pentagon, and finally we have the arrow. As you guys could see, where the stripe is and where the arrow is, they're both on the same color. Same color means opposite sides. And according to the opposite sides rule, Opposite sides can never be next to each other, but if you have a look at C, the both the sides, so the stripe and the arrow, they're next to each other, even though they're on opposite sides. So therefore, we can go ahead and cross off C. Now, let's move to D. In D, we have a pentagon, we have a square, and we have a stripe. So let's see where it is. So stripe is at the top, and then we have the pentagon, and finally, the square. So these are the three shapes we have. Let's have a look in the opposite sides. Stripes at the top, square towards the left, 
and the pentagon in the middle. Now, once again, these three shapes are on different colours, which means none of them are actually on opposite sides. So therefore, we can also keep D. We managed to cross off C, so we can put a tick next to opposite sides. Now we're left with B and D. Let's move to different shapes to find the answer. Now, let's have a look at different shapes. Different shapes is basically when you have a different shape in one of the cube that is not found in the net. So let's start with B. In B, we have the pentagon, so that's fine. We have the stripe, that's right, and we also have the square. They're all the same. So we can keep B. Let's check D. Now, we have a stripe, that is the same, and we also have a square, that is also the same. But if you have a look at the pentagon we have right here, this pentagon is different to the one we have over here. This is because this pentagon we have right here is blank, but the one we have in the cube is hatched. So therefore, the one we have in D is different. So as a result, we can cross off D, and we're now left with B. So that means our answer to this question is B. The answer we got for this question was B. Now let's check if B is right by folding the net. And as you guys could see, B is right. This is the aid for constructing the cube to gain a better understanding of how the net folds in a far more effective way. So the link's in the description below and in the comments section. So go check that out. Now to learn more nonverbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.